And good afternoon and hello, everybody. I am Dan Roberts, the publisher of The Vegas Voice, and we are on the town with two of the greatest entertainers and performers that I have ever had the pleasure of dealing with, and I've dealt with a lot, and that is our Voices of a Generation columnist, Rich Natoli, and the one and only former, former entertainment editor and still one of the best guys around, Tony Saka. And Tony, let me start with you. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I was in this town when you first came into town, and you said, you know what, I'm going to make a difference in Las Vegas. And you have, and you still are making a difference. I'm really proud of you, Mr. Roberts. You know, that was, that's very nice. I, that's very nice of you, Tony. And again, Tony's been, I've known Tony from like the moment we came in, started the Vegas Voice. And uh, you've been a good guy from day one. And I just can't say enough about all the good things you've done for myself, for the paper, and for the city of Las Vegas. You're known throughout the city of Las Vegas because you're like the ambassador. You know, it's what we can give to Las Vegas, not what Las Vegas can give to us. Too many people think that they're coming to Las Vegas to give to Las, you know, to, to get Las Vegas to make them. It's what you could add to this beautiful town. And I said that to uh, Sinatra's family. I said, I know Frank did a lot for Vegas, but what has Vegas done for Frank? <laughs> and he actually answered the question. He did. Yeah. He did. Which he was? Did. It, it, the opportunity. Yeah. To create a legacy in Nevada, Vegas was good to the Sinatra family. Yes. You know, and you've been in town for how many years? Now? Thirty-five years. Thirty-five years. I mean, good. And and your history at you. You stopped everything. I mean, I'm sorry. You stopped. You started everything from singing, performing, TV, radio, writing. Is there anything you haven't done? Uh, no, I even opened up a restaurant, as you know, Las Vegas That's Rocks correct. Cafe. Right. Um, I've done everything that I've wanted to do uh, in this town, I, I, except I don't want to go into political office, though. That's you don't want to do political no, office? No, I don't want to do that. I think okay. you should run for mayor. No, oh, I, 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 Tony Saka for mayor. Although maybe you can do something I'm along Tony the I'm Tony Saka, and I want to be your mayor. No, I don't want to be mayor. I like having the title ambassador, and you've always named me that. You gave me a wonderful award when we did the cruise. Uh, the one-time cruise that we did. The one-time cruise, I remember correct? one yeah. time that we did a cruise together. It was yeah. wonderful. You know what? I, again, let me let me jump over to, to you for it. one quick moment. I mean, you've been with the paper now with your Voices of a Generation uh, column. Mm -hmm. You now do a podcast. Talk a little bit about that. About the podcast? Let's talk a little bit about yes, that. Yes, I host a show called Watching the Vegas Voice. I Great think you're title. familiar with. Yes. On the WCOBM the World Center of Broadcast Media. And we're on uh, every uh, Wednesday from 11 to noon, and it features uh, not only local Vegas talent, but national celebrities. We have everybody on there. Yeah, no, I mean, you've done, and if you don't have everybody on, you can do everybody, because you have That's all true. the voices. I, I, I do. Uh, I, I do people like Johnny Carson. You know, it's so, it's so hot in Las Vegas today. How hot was it? Funny you should ask. It's so hot in Las Vegas today, people were, were seeking out Hillary Clinton just for the cold stare. <laughs> oh. So, you know, yeah, we do, we do, uh, we have fun on there. We have fun on there with the different people. And uh, tomorrow we have uh, Chadwick Johnson on, and we have Mr. Tony Saka on that show. Too. Yeah, and, and again, uh, let me add both of these gentlemen, along with yourself, were on our Vegas Voice uh, Guardianship mm -hmm. uh, presentation. At the Silverton. At the Silverton. And again, obviously, you guys were great. And you guys are always great, no matter what you guys have done. Well, you do you a do lot it. of shows. The Vegas Voice does a lot of shows for uh, the military and seniors, which is all great. And uh, we've done them all over town, right? Yeah, Different no, we're venues. all over town. And again, we've been doing it for years, starting with this gentleman over here. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Tony? You've been around long enough that you know everybody. And you have a couple of honors that we don't have, starting with that... Uh, on that uh, walk, let's talk about uh, the about Walk of Fame. Walk of Fame. I was um, nominated uh, in 2008, and was given a star on the strip. And it was in New York, New York, and New York, New York. We had 23 st 
stars on the strip in new york new york reinvented itself so they actually lift the stars off and what happened was they need to replace the stars so they put my star at the paris hotel was one of the first to be placed at the paris hotel and i put myself in the corner kind of argued with the uh, contractor said you should be in the middle i said no i want to be on the corner i watched people walk the way they stepped down so i was put on the star september 15th 2015 and all of a sudden february 3rd they put this gentleman named elvis presley next to my star wow and i was like totally amazed that elvis is next to me (laughs) well i i have nothing to say about that one i I want you to know that dan Uh, so we got angelbert humperdinck elvis presley and tony sack so people go that that who (laughs) yeah yeah in fact when i took that picture over there i girl was taking a picture of elvis so i said oh by the way that that's me. Yeah. She's, she goes, no, it isn't. I, I took out my business card. I said, look, I'm, I'm Tony Stocker. She goes, you just had these cars made up because you could sit here and pick up girls. <laughs> Which wasn't a bad idea. It wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. if I, if I Using needed. the star to pick up chicks. That's the way you, to go. That's kind of different. <laughs> huh? so it was interesting. So uh, that, that is an incredible honor to be placed next. Uh, incredible honor to be placed on the strip at Mona Bay Gabby at Paris. But to be sitting next to Elvis Presley is like, Wow. Yeah, that is something. Though. Wow. wow. It is something. And, you know, you, you've chronicled your life because, let me just give you a plug, because not many people write their own biography, autobiography. Talk a little bit about well, this, because this is really something. This, I didn't write this book. I actually dictated the book to the writer who approached me and said, I'd like to write about your life story. And it was an, a, a wonderful event because she took me back, took one year, six hours a week for her to sit there and interview me. It took me all the way back to to when I was 10, 11 years old uh, when my father wanted me to go on stage, and I told him, no, I'm not going on stage, and he took me in the bathroom and clocked me until I went on stage. Uh, And it it just I relived my whole life with my twin brother growing up as a twin. He's no longer with me, a great career with my twin. And he's got a lot of great photographs of a lot of the celebrities I've interviewed and also a lot of historical photographs of Las Vegas. So it's a really great read. Oh, absolutely it is. I mean, I went through it, and I even know who you are. And it, it's, you really have an incredible history of performing, and you were all over the place, and you performed as when you were a little kid. I started when I was my first paying job. I was 12 years old, never looked back, toured all the country, the world, cruise ships, came to Vegas in 81. Uh, People say, you're a Vegas act. I couldn't come to Vegas because I was so busy with my brother, Three years in Puerto Rico, not 79, 80, and 81 at the El San Juan Hotel. Siegfried came to Puerto Rico, saw my act, and invited me to Las Vegas. That's how I came to Vegas. That's how you came to Vegas. Yes. Now, you want to hear a better story? How did you come to Las Vegas? I, well, I, you know, I've, been, I've, been, I've actually been playing in and out of this town for decades. Yeah, I know. I really have. I came here. Uh, I worked. Actually, I did a spot in the original Legends in Concert show, filling in for a house comic there that it was named Dave Swan. Okay. God and the him. producer, John Stewart, saw me in uh, Southern California. So I went in, filled in for him, and then uh, I was doing uh, review shows. I opened for, for Axe, and I did, the, I did all the comedy rooms. I did Catch a Rising Star at Bally's, uh, the Improv, you know, at Harrah's. Uh, uh, I even did the old uh, Maxim Hotel. Remember the Maxim? Sure. Yeah. I did, I did the Maxim there when they opened their uh, – in fact, I was the first act – in their new comedy room when they opened the comedy room there yeah. at that time. So in and out, you know, and then uh, w- went to, uh, I was out of, LA, out of L.A. and then went to Florida, worked out of that market, doing a lot of corporate shows for about 10 years and retirement villages and uh, cruise ships and then came to Vegas. After yeah, that again. you know, and, and it's amazing how both you guys dovetail because uh, you've done – you have you've had your own TV show. You still have your own TV show. Thirty years. Thirty years. You're just starting yours right now through the podcast. So it it and and you guys have also worked together. You know we have yeah. I have a lot of respect for Rich. Um, we've performed together, and one thing about Rich when he comes on stage, he knows where he is when he's doing something. He he's a leader and he's a follower as well. So he's always you could always count on Rich working together. I'm so excited. Him and I are going to be doing a cruise together. I know you're going to bring this up. Ah, I'm going to bring it. It's up. a break a great combination between uh, Rich and I, uh, and Rich is a great talent, and he knows his part, and I know my part, and it's going to be a great, great show. Uh, I know we're going to publicize it. You know, it, it, before we even do that, is both of you guys have worked together. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all get along, right, as far as the world knows, but yeah. yet you do comedy and you sing and do a little bit. 
Is there much of a difference? I mean, I, I know you do. You're standing in front of a crowd. You're singing. Well, you know, he's the best at what he does. You know, the thing about Tony, Tony was the first guy to put me on television here. He helped me when I first came here and uh, helped me get exposure. And, uh, you know, he's helped. This is the thing about Tony Saka. Tony Saka, you know, not unlike you, has helped a lot of performers in Vegas. So to his credit, I mean, you can talk to anybody who's working now in Vegas and they'll tell you that Tony Saka was the first one that helped him. Yeah, and, and again, Tony, I mean, again, when I first met you, you were so generous and just showing me the ropes, how to meet people and do right. stuff in town. But and, and and you're known for giving people that just want to get on stage in Vegas and make a name for themselves. You give them like their first You know, when the, when the Shintas first came into town, when Louis Anderson first came into town, I, I saw these people and I had the form to put them on television. And I like sharing great talent. People say, do you ever ever fear about someone's going to out? I said, I said, no, who's better, George Burns or Jack Benny? Yeah, right. Right. Good is good. Entertaining is entertaining. Communicating with an audience, that's what it is. And if you do yours well and they do yours well, there's nobody better. We all have the same goal in mind, have people walk out feeling they've been entertained, forgot out their problems, and feel good about life. That's Yeah, all he's secure with himself, which is great. Now, I'll tell you a funny story. When I did his Christmas special, right? Okay, which was a great, it's always fun to do his Christmas special, yeah. Las Vegas Rocks Friday show Christmas special. So he had, the, there was this, this group of kids and they were big kids. I mean, tall kids, you know, and, and they're, he, they're on stage next to Tony and Tony looks up at, you know, these gigantic kids. And he says, are, are you all kids? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these kids were like six feet yeah. tall. It was hilarious. And again, you've been involved in a charitable event for a number of years. Talk a little That's bit about the, that. Uh, that's the reason that uh, I'm honored that President Obama actually gave me a Lifetime Achievement Award for my outstanding uh, uh, achievement for uh, doing work, you know, donating work. Right. Uh, I was uh, in California five years ago. This girl said, I'm going to submit you for an award to the White House. And we're drinking. I forgot about it. Two years later, she says, you got it. I say, got what? The award. We've been to the White House three times. I took kids to the White House, raised the money. We represented Las Vegas and performed at the White House for uh, Bush and Obama. No, that's just great, the idea of being honored to go to the White House, whether you're Republican, Democrat, and you can do both at the same time. <laughs> you know, Un- unbelievable <laughs> to be in the White House. And, you know, and, and you've also, you also received another honor, and it's from the Nevada Broadcasters Association. Talk a little bit about that. Again, that's really something. That's big time. You know, to date... <laughs> There is no one been on television longer than me right now, 30 years. When you look at all the different news media people and stuff like that, I am now the longest standing living host, and they thought it's worth recognizing. So they're going to give me a special award uh, at this year's Nevada Broadcasters Association. They're honoring uh, Governor Sandoval as well, uh, Paula Francis, for she just retired. Right. And me, and I'm really excited about this, and uh, this is really exciting for me to get this award. Okay, but, you know, again, Paula Francis is retired. The governor's going to be out of a job next year, and, 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 and I'm still, still kicking be. around. Hopefully. I think so. Yeah. You know what? What we're doing through the Vegas Voice is we're putting together a cruise, and that's why another reason why we have you guys here. Uh, and it's going to be the first time that we've had two entertainers doing a show like this, and who wants to be the first one to talk about it? Because the idea. What's of the name of this cruise? Uh, well, we had a couple of names that we couldn't say on air, <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be the Voices of Vegas, and yeah. it's going to star yourself and Mr. Tony here, mm-hmm. and it'll be. I think it's just going to be a tremendous show, and then you get a cruise too. It's going to be a great, great uh, night of entertainment, and yeah. I, we encourage everybody to sign up and take this cruise. It goes to Mexico, right? We're it goes. Go to- yeah, it, it goes. Let me just read it off. It's from March 9th to the 13th. On the uh, Princess Cruise Line, the Star Princess. Uh, it's going to go from L.A. to Catalina to Ensenada. And we had you do one of our cruises once before. And it really was a blast. You know what's good about this? Because we invite these people from Las Vegas and your readers. And we get to hang out with them for four days. Yep. And they get to know us as people. Oh, forget it. I'm not going. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm right behind you <laughs> just in case. <laughs> and then I'm, they're all I'm excited. jumping ship here. <laughs> yeah. Then they're all excited <laughs> Because we always do the performance on the last day. So Rich and I will be with these people, hanging out with them. And they're all friends here in Las Vegas and your readers. And, and then we'll do our show on 
Which what it would be a Thursday? Is so it whatever a, the the ninth to the thirteenth okay, or okay. one of those dates, we we do one of the shows right. and we have a cocktail hour. And we know you like to drink, so uh, <laughs> yeah, we, I don't we, drink. <laughs> <laughs> I drink diet coke yeah, and iced yeah. tea. You know, but yeah, again, I mean, and uh, but cruises are fun. I've done lots of cruise ships. I, I mean, I, you've done cruises. Yeah. I, I mean, you've done cruises. Too. I've done cruises too. I, the only thing I don't like about cruises is eating. Yeah, there's a great deal of eating and eating. I, I'm, I'm but the good eating. news is you can make healthy choices on there because they have a lot of salads and stuff. Like yeah, that. but no one goes to that. Nobody. Yeah. Yeah. I stand in line at 12 o'clock at night because I'm getting free lobster. What is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? One of the questions mm. I had is, again, both of you have done cruises. Mm. What's it like doing a show and the ship is rocking? Is is does well, it tell you something? Your performance? Let's tell you something. I actually got seasick one time and I had to do a show at eight o'clock and I was the fir- and I never get seasick, but this, the, the, the stabilizers were broken on this one ship. So it was rocking pretty bad going through this hurricane thing. So I was, I was so sick that I had to go to the doctor on the ship and he, they'll give you a shot that you're no longer sick, but you're loopy. So I went on there and did the show loopy yeah. and I don't drink. And the, everybody was complaining the comedian's was drunk because I was like Dean Martin. Oh, here, here's another one I'm going to tell you. And here's another one. And they were saying the guy's drunk. And they said, no, he's not drunk. He, was, he got a shot. It's you know? difficult for dancers because when the ship, the ship moves a little bit, they're stepping and dancing. Singers, it isn't. We're just walking around. Right. Like Rich and I. But dancers, it's very difficult for them because they, they're so precisioned that when they do a movement, I've heard that from dancers, that it's very difficult on cruise ships to, to uh, choreography. Yeah, and, and again, uh, we're going on this cruise together. It's going to be from March 9th to the 13th on the Princess uh, Star Princess. Is there any special preparation you do, or Tony, you do to get ready for it? Or I mean, pretty much, I mean, you guys have seen it all, you covered it all. You can pretty much put the show together. And, I think and, and everyone's Richard, different. Rich and I will do, because we're like this, we stay current with dialogue because you know we have our material that works and if we learn a new song or so, i mean i have so much material i got 53 years of material so i could do up classics motown right. rock and roll so you know i'll choose it based on the audience that we're going to have and then i'll i'll, I'll write some current uh, stuff that's happening even in my life you know the fact that i just received my medicare card you did you receive know, your Medicaid. Plan A and Plan B. Oh, congratulations, you know, and, by the uh, way. Yeah. I no longer get those AARP notices. Now I'm getting funeral arrangement notices. <laughs> I just got one that, uh, from Vegas that offered a buffet with this funeral arrangement. <laughs> uh, so, he just gets a notice with a picture of Don Rickles. It's yeah. over, Charlie. It's over. It's over. <laughs> so, it's over. So current to that degree, you know, we'll, we'd be current. And we'll meet some people and we'll talk to those people and we'll, and we'll relate to those people that are going to be watching our show. Other than that, we have our, our material that we have developed, oh, in my case, the last 53 years, that works real well for me. Uh, again, it, it's, we're looking forward to it. And I know you guys, but... Yeah, and, and we'll and have a new president then, so we there'll be jokes, we'll yeah, be flying. Be going around, and no matter who it is. Like that. <laughs> uh, you know, let me just give a plug to both of you guys. If people want to contact you, Tony, or get a hold of you in any way, how do they do that? They could, uh, they could contact me, Tony... TJ Sack at gmail.com. But you know, my TV show is now on the CW every Sunday at 11 a.m. on the NBC affiliate at 3 30 in the morning, on the CW at 2 in the morning, and on the family network across the country in 50 markets every I mean, Sunday. You're busier now than you were 20 years ago. I'm busier years now. Ago. I'm producing two television shows a week, which I'm really excited about. It keeps you young, huh? Yeah. Even so, though you have Medicare. TJ Sack at <laughs> gmail.com yeah. or, or Facebook me. Okay. Yeah. And you can go to me at uh, rich at richnatoli.com or just go to richnatoli.com with an E at the end of it. There you go. Or they can always get a hold of you at the uh, Vegas Voice. Let me at give the a the Vegas the- Voice, the VegasVoice.net, which is uh, your, your website where they can read all about the Vegas Voice and what's going on in town. And we'll also have information about the cruise, too. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. again, I mean, we're going to have you guys back on looking forward to being with both of you for four days stuck on a ship <laughs> in a foreign country. August 20th yes, at the hotel near Mandalay Bay is the Nevada Broadcasters Association event. It's a very prestigious gala. And and you know what? Really, congratulations thank because you. You, you've earned it. So I, I want to thank both of you. I never thought that a Jew can handle two, two Italians. Italians at one time. <laughs> you know. So I, I want to thank you so much. And uh, this is... Dan Roberts from On the Town, and we thank you very much. And we can we get our weapons back now? You get it as soon as we leave. Yeah, yeah, as soon as we leave.
But anyway, we thank you so much, and we will see you again next month.